Good evening, Kindred and Kai. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Chicago by Night, V5. Season 6, Episode 3. Bleeding Aces. Now, uh, it has been some weeks since we have been live, so I think for those of you who watch us on YouTube and are not in the Discord, our resident uh, Memphis Piper here is a new father, so he has been out on his maternity leave. Um, <laughs> Just but, call me daddy. <laughs> there it is. But um, with that being said, we are going to continue the season. However, we're going to go into a bi-weekly format. So this week we will be doing Vampire. Next week it will be Dragon Hammer, and it will just keep going back and forth. Now, <clears throat> why don't we do a little bit of a recap of our last game since it's been some time. Should probably get you guys a little bit freshened up. Erwin Ruth, who has been a member, or at least residing within the River King's protection for some time now, is reunited with his former Coterie members, Memphis Piper, Marilyn Alcott. And Dr. Ruth has had a rather rough reintroduction, as many of the Camarilla Freedom Fighters are quite suspicious of your new involvement. But you managed to be saved by the graces of Diedrich. And since you have now rescued Kaido from captivity, you've been given the task of eliminating Wong, one of the leaders of the Three Heads Dragon. 48 hours, right? Correct. Zach's Greenspoon? No. <laughs> nice try, though. How much XP have you acquired over all the uh, seasons, Erwin? I don't think that's necessary. You know. Really, you don't want to state how much XP you've acquired cumulatively so all the time? Have, I only have two experience right now. How much experience have you had since the beginning of the Chronicle? 125. <laughs> but there's always room to grow. I love my character sheet. Well, it should be down here, shouldn't it? I'll continue. I'll figure it out. Maybe it's, maybe it's in the book. Well, that's what the beautiful uh, thing about editing is. We can just cut this part out, so yeah, go ahead and find your... Watch it live. Go ahead, continue. I'll find it. I found it. I think it's right there. Yeah. Found it. <laughs> These are going to go all the way through, you know? Uh, you know, it's been like this for like over a year it's, now. It's, I don't think I've ever fixed it's it It's got yet. legs. So that's yeah. when I realized around. what it was, okay? I thought that when I was looking at the back of it, I realized it was someone's character sheet. Mm -hmm. It's on the back. Oh, okay. Notes. Yeah. Okay. So. Kaido recently gave you some... New phones. Told you to be careful with these ones because he doesn't exactly have the means to make them as readily as he used to. So be cautious with that. And the group is now going to be on their way to the Imperial City Casino. The former Iceberg Lounge that was recently bought out. You have a question, Erwin? Yeah. Who's BB? Potency of BB is insane. Blood bond? Potency of BB? Blue blood. Very old. Oh, blue blood. Um. <laughs> Genius. You're We're professionals. You're you shorthanded your own stuff and didn't remember what your shorthand was. Uh, when I did it, I thought I'd remember. You know, usually when you shorthand things, you put a little little thing on the top where you 
Never mind. We're going to pick up the scene with you guys driving on the way to the Imperial City. Kaido is grabbed a vehicle. Now remember, you just left the construction site next to the docks. And while you're going, driving by, I need a wits and awareness from everybody. Difficulty on this will be a three. Pardon anyone who's watching me drink Dr. Pepper. You know, it's not very kindred of me. Well, you're the ST. You're allowed to drink the best drink on the goddamn planet <laughs> on camera. Three. And hey, Memphis nails it. <clears throat> What's it like to be God's favorite? It's good. It has six. I got two. Irwin. Six. And Marilyn definitely crushes it. Was, it. it was all, yeah. So, we'll say that the two of you notice the same thing, but Marilyn, you notice a little bit extra. Two, four, five. 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 Okay, fine. Still a success. I forget how to play it's a, it's a messy critical. Messy critical. It's a messy critical? Mm-hmm. So one of your hunger dies was... Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Something about your beast, Marilyn, sort of snaps its head into the parking lot of the Shed Aquarium. As you're driving by uh, Memphis, you notice it as well. A very strange sight indeed. You're fairly certain you see what looks like a fully naked man covered in blood uh, and a coyote jumping into a bushes next to like a lady who is basically yelling at the naked man um and you can also see what looks like uh someone who's just laying on uh, dormant on the ground right outside the shed like not like in the parking lot no it's like in the here. parking lot in the parking lot in the parking lot and uh, you guys you know kaido's driving so he just keeps going but it um, looks like they stop and at least one of them just watches you guys as you am drive I, by. Am I seeing things? Did anyone else see that? See, or am I seeing things again? See what? I'm pointing towards it. Oh, I'm imagining we're too far gone. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. You, too Shit, far how fast is he driving? I, I, he's going gone. like 80. Oh my I, God. I didn't see anything. He said we saw it, though. You guys Memphis saw it, yeah. It was yeah. Like, real quick. I uh, definitely saw something. Okay, all right. And was it a naked man covered in blood and coyote skin? Or a, in a coyote? Jumping in a bush? Say like, what? Please tell me that's what you saw. I saw something that would fit that description, okay. yeah. Right, great. And as you look in your rearview mirror, you actually notice a cop car getting ready to pull into the parking lot, and you notice that the the somewhat small figures you can see in the distance now appear to just be panicking. Um, Ain't uh, our problem. The coyote just takes off. And yeah, floor it. You guys. Hmm. Somebody else's problem mm. might end up being our problem later, but it's not our problem right now. <laughs> not your problem. Kaido, uh, as he's driving, Memphis, uh, under the seat, go ahead and grab that duffel bag. Yeah, no worries. Go ahead and throw that shirt on. You're not going to be wearing what you're wearing in the casino. They don't like my drip? You're, you're famous. How many times have we gone over this where I have to inform you that people all around the world know what your face is? Right. And yeah. You have a very unique style. Yeah. Remember that time you decided to wear a ca- giant ketchup bottle for a whole week? Yeah. It was Heinzy. You, you, am I making my point here, or? Okay. All right. I see. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm not used to blending in, but that's what I'm gonna need you to do is blend yeah. in. You think just like a shirt change is gonna help with that? I have a simple solution. Different sunglasses, completely different person. Oh like a no! Kind of fit. I, no, I, no okay. they, that would be terrible. These are prescription. You don't need a prescription. He, oh yeah, he does. Self-prescribed. No, if you have bad eyesight when you're immortal and you get embraced, you still have bad eyesight. He's never mentioned having. Okay, that's crazy. Those are really prescription. Yeah. 
Like, what's your... <laughs> what is it? It's prescribed for style. <laughs> no, what is your... The, the, the numbers, like, what are you? Oh, uh, number... Because I have a prescription as well, I, so I wear contacts, though. Yeah, mine are one. Just, just that one? That checks out. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's How that's blind really are you? Hmm? How blind are you? Blindingly... Like negative one? Hmm? Like negative one? <coughs> There's nothing negative about me. All positives. All right. <coughs> Anyways, uh, so, okay. I guess uh, you guys probably aren't really used to this because uh, normally Alistair makes all the decisions for you guys. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. That's not true. Who, who makes the decisions when Alistair... It's not here. There you Why go. don't you answer that question? It's one of us. Okay. Yeah. We're all capable of making our own decisions. Okay. And they usually end at Walmart. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. I Walmart want Walmart. anyone here to, uh, so raise your hand here if you think you make the decisions when Alistair's not here. Why aren't you raising your hand? Yeah. Okay. There's no such thing as three leaders. Well, no, you didn't say leaders. You said making decisions. So you're yeah. saying only one person can make a decision, like a dictatorship. In like a like that situation of. where you need to have one mm-hmm. plan. Well, we're like the three heads, and Alistair's like the body. We're like a hydra. Yeah, Alistair might get cut off, but then three heads come together mm-hmm. to make the decisions. That's not how hydras work. We're Cerberuses. Cerber, okay. You don't know Greek mythology either, apparently. Um, okay, all I'm saying is that uh, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. All right. <coughs> I think this is actually the first time I've ever ran the mission for you guys. Right? Well, yeah, you're usually like, you know. I'm usually like Overwatch. Or, or you know, like. Awful game. It really is, it really went downhill after one. Something funny, Doctor? Oh, yeah. He's just wheezing. He's got asthma. Yeah, he's I got, got asthma. asthma. I was... That's something that doesn't have a crossover after the embrace. Psychological. Ah, psychological. So you have a flaw in that, huh? Yeah. It's it's uh, help my uh, mask seem more believable. How is your mask, by the way? It utterly destroyed. It was destroyed long ago, especially when these two walked in my Hey, 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 you cannot blame that on us. I will give you props, Erwin. You were probably one of the only people that tried to keep up on your mask. I did! (laughs) You started a cult. Yeah. Under your name, your mask name. Uh, Yeah. You know what, to be fair, a lot of celebrities do that. Look at Jared Leto. You you also have my Jared Leto's one of us. Uh, What? (laughs) Floor (laughs) drop, oh fuck. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he uh, he did it Morbius unironically. Ah, uh, I, but I, I was also going to say that you, you've also been the one to actively break the masquerade with, like, you know, the morgue run thing. Morgue tag. Morgue tag. Yeah, yeah, that's how good I'm above the masquerade. There's still kids doing that. <laughs> it's I'm I'm the face of a generation. <laughs> okay, back you know, to. No, I miss when we ate Tide Pods. I wish they just go back to that. Back to uh, uh, the mission at hand here. So retro. Yeah, you know, this is gonna probably sound really stupid when we're both, or all of us are hopefully, you know, two, three hundred years old. Mm-hmm. But you're already like a few hundred years old. Why well, gotta go revealing my age? You're not supposed to do that with a lady. It's very rude. Sorry. You're just, you're Fairly. just really. Pissing me off tonight, Kato. You're, you're just being a bag of dicks tonight, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, the blue blood kind of, you know, wears off and some side effects kind of linger afterwards. The beast is still really okay, well, fucking pissed off. well, I hope you off. like being ignored for 24 hours. You guys ignore me all the time. Hmm? Since Someone w- say something? Since when? All right. So, I don't want us just running into the casino without a plan. So what we're going to do, and the reason why I had Memphis change, is out of all of us, Memphis is the one that seems like he would probably be able to fit in there the most. 
as in you and your mask and who Memphis is would most likely be seen blowing money at a casino or at least partaking in whatever people That's do. true. I'm very classy. Yeah, didn't you also have a gambling addiction when you were alive? Yes, I still do. Do you think, do you think Tom Cruise is a vampire? Well, we're not going to get into what other celebrities Ooh, are vampires. No, they're Scientologists. Oh, yeah, that's that's even worse. worse. <laughs> okay, guys. Reel it in. Come on. Let's get back on track. Yeah. We only got a few more minutes before we're going to be there. All right, so and I'm going to go in there. I'm going to blow a bunch of money. Okay, do you know what the reason why you're going in is? Because I fit in. Okay, but the reason why... We need that it's so that you can gather information. In intel, yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. You're starting to pick it up. Mm -hmm. So what information do you want to look for? What numbers are winning? No. Ooh, go and do the horse thing. Just go in the horse room. Ooh, Sounds bad out horses. of context, but you know what I'm talking about. Horses? Yeah. Yeah, bound horses. They got the yeah. horse room. Equestrians? You know? Yeah. The, the, like the lounge chairs and you sit and have a cigar or whatever. Watch the horses dance. Oh, I think that's called a pony show. We're getting Why did you know that? We're getting sidetracked again. Why did you know that, everyone? What? All right, so I'm getting information. We're there to kill Wong. <laughs> right. Wong needs to die. Right. So, find out where Wong is. Right. We know he's got a lot of men there, a lot of guards. If we just run in, guns blazing, no offense, Erwin, I don't think you're going to be able to get out of there very fast. Okay, where do you want me then? Once Memphis gets back with the information, we'll be able to come up with a better guise for you. Okay. In fact, we might be able to use you to get to wherever Wong is. Depending. Depending on what Memphis finds out. And as long as he's not Wong with the wind. Okay, we're... Wong place, Wong time. Don't want to be on the Wong end of a gun. I'm gonna stake you with a pencil. I know, what's Wong? I'm not liking the Elmer Fudd accent. All right. Don't trust us. We've got this. We're professionals. Remember how many times we saved the city? I, I feel like we also are the reason why the city's always in trouble. <laughs> what? We, like you said, this is not our first radio. We're not the ones bringing all these big baddies to our doorstep. They're showing up and we have to deal with it. How's it our fault? <clears throat> You're right. I don't think it's entirely our fault, but sometimes I wonder if we're just cursed or something. Maybe you are. Well, Maybe just... it's you. Maybe you're bad luck. Kato's bad luck. You do get captured a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't get captured a lot. I've gotten captured maybe twice. Yeah, what's that, what's that about? You're saying that none of us can make a decision on our own, but you keep getting kidnapped? You can't even fend for yourself? First of all, the times I've been kidnapped, I've been kidnapped by very powerful individuals. And then we have to rescue you from those powerful And who's, mm -hmm. look who's talking, mm -hmm. Marilyn, weren't you kidnapped as well? One time. I was, I think I was also kidnapped. <laughs> and I know I, you've been kidnapped. I think most of us I have was been not kidnapped. by kidnapped. You were, li you literally got kidnapped. Didn't your stalker kidnap you or something? No. Did yeah. you get kidnapped by more? No, I was in love. Oh. Yeah, didn't you also get kidnapped in the Goblin Roads? No, I was exploring. There's a difference. All right, well, here we are, so. All right. Now, I'm assuming you're gonna go in there as Memphis? Of course. Unless I should go in there as 
money bags, make gold. Do you think that's an actual passable name? Yeah. Money bags, make gold. Yeah. You sound like an Austin Powers villain. I go by MB. MB McGold. Okay, whatever. I'm Scro Irish. Scrooge McDuck name you fucking want. Just. Ooh, McDuck. Never mind. MB McDuck. That's more believable. All right. Hey, leave it to me. I'll see the donkey show and get you guys back the information. There's no donkey show. Just what? Just go. Just go. All right. I uh, get out of the vehicle and make my way inside. All right. And as you walk in, what is the first thing that you want to do? Because, you know, it's open public casino. You can walk into the front doors. All right. I walk in and I go straight to the concierge desk. Okay. I would like to go to the high rollers room. Oh, high rollers. Yes. Very well, sir. We just need to have your ID and information, and we can get you signed up to head over there. Oh. I don't have an ID for MB McDuck. I guess I'll hand her my regular ID. Memphis Piper McDuck. Oh, <laughs> Memphis Piper. Didn't realize we were going to have a celebrity here. I know, but you know, when Lady Luck's calling... You don't send her to voicemail. Would you like any other special commodities while you're here? Drinks, cigars, entourage? Nope. I would like to stay discreet, you know. I can't have my fans knowing I love gambling and casinos. Very well, sir. Yeah. Well, here is your voucher. Just hand this to uh, the... Perfect. Yeah, the high rollers, and you'll be able to walk right in. Right. That way? It's right over there. So yeah, okay. So I head that way. All right. And as you head that way, you walk up. Guy standing outside the high roller room looks at you. <clears throat> Do I have to tip you? Uh. <laughs> Voucher, sir. Oh, here you are. <laughs> Right, he unclasps the <clears throat> little velvet rope. All right. Ah. You walk in? Yeah. All right, as you walk in, it's a room that's isolated to itself. Uh, mainly poker tables and blackjack comprise the majority of the room, but you can see that there are some crap tables as well. What exactly are you looking for now? Um, I will head to, they have a Mahjong table. Ma Mahjong? Yeah, they have a Mahjong table. They do. Yeah, I'll go to the Mahjong table. <laughs> As you make your way over the table, yeah. um, you notice that there's a desk inside the high roller area. And they go, <clears throat> excuse me, sir, excuse me. Yeah. Hi, you haven't uh, put your uh, information in as far as your, uh, how you'll be paying? How I'll be paying? Well, you need to pay to bet, sir. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm <laughs> Memphis Piper, so, you know. Of course, of course. Starting minimum is $10,000, United States currency. Uh, fine. Oh, wait. Alistair's cards don't work, do they? No. <laughs> you fucking imagine? Well, before I bet any money, let me look around to see if this is an establishment worth me actually spending some money. You know, just watch some of the games. Of You want to watch? Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure there's no funny business. I've been to casinos and... Oh, I, I assure you everything here is perfectly on the up and up, but please go ahead, have a wander around a tour. Would you like me to escort you? No, I've got it. I've got it. Very well. All right. 
And as you're walking away, you notice he kind of... Security, we might have a problem down here. Mm. Meanwhile, back why is, in... Why is he giving Tim Curry from Home Alone 2? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the car, you notice that Kaido has pulled out a laptop. All right, so I give it about 20 minutes before Memphis does his real plan, or at least the plan I know he's going to do, and he's going to cause a problem. So that is when we are going to use that distraction to make our way in. So you sent him in to a casino to be a distraction? Yes. Don't you think that's going to end up with him being in jail or at least being detained by police at some point? Have you ever tried catching Memphis? Okay. I'm not surprised you gave him 20 minutes. Yeah. I guess it just depends on whether or not he's able to read signs. <laughs> I have to try to think if this character is one that can read. <laughs> I think he can read. <laughs> right? Yeah, he can read. It's either read or swim. Yeah, That's... He, he writes music, so he's got to be able to. He's got to be able to read. No, I'm not saying that he can't read. I'm just saying that he think he chooses not to read. Okay, that makes more sense. All right. Looks like the cameras are. Wow, they got a lot of them. Where are you at, Wong? So when you do find him on the camera, then what? Wait for Memphis to light the fireworks. Okay, then what? Then, we're going to take Erwin inside. Towards the fireworks. You see, Wong's got a lot of information on the Camarilla. It's got a lot of information on the Iron Pack. He's playing this war, but so are we. And I've got intel on him. One of the individuals that he associates himself with is considered to be a alternative medicine individual. Someone that sees into people and offers remedies to cure disabilities, ailments. I think Dr. Ruth needs to see this individual. Wow. Uh. Will give us a path right to him. You're good with a gun, right, Erwin? Um, I'm I'm known to be able to shoot. Yes. Good, because tonight's your night. I, am I the one doing the, the shooting on? Long? You ever seen Godfather? Uh, the first one. Yeah, a particular bathroom scene. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we're going with this. Okay. You okay with that? Sure. So our plan is being based off of a movie scene. Partially. That was more or less to give Verwin an idea what he's going to be doing. But as far as you and I go... Well, we're Irwin's assistants. After all, Dr. Ruth is a very rich and wealthy man. Oh. That's true. Congratulations. Yes, sir. There it is. Floor seven. Perfect. Make a phone call. Give me a fake name. What's my fake name? Um... An assistant name. <clears throat> um, a Allison. Okay. Hello? Yes, this is Jackson. I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long. It's just we just flew in and, well, the doctor is well, quite tired after the travels. I hope it's not a bother that we are able to see you soon. Excellent. We could be there in about 20 minutes or so. Thank you. Where should we go? Seventh floor. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, there'll be no mistaking. Yes. Um, well, the doctor is currently unable to walk at the moment, so... Uh, 
me and the other assistant will be with him. Of course, we won't be intruding on the session. We'll wait outside. All right. Of course. Bye. I can't be Allison now. He's Jackson. That's two sons. Yeah. Uh, and Greta. Gre Greta, okay. Greta and Jackson. All right. Well... Coming up on 15 minutes. Back inside. What are you doing, Memphis? I'm going around to, I'll go to a poker table, just standing over people and be like, hmm, good hand. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Been playing long. You notice that as you're uh, doing this, yeah. a group of security personnel appear to come up behind you. Sir. Oh, yeah. Um, vodka tonic, uh, lime, a lot of sugar. Sir, we are not the wait staff. Oh, okay. We've had many complaints about you looking over people's shoulders during their games. Oh, I'm uh, inspecting the, the... I hope you understand that this is a violation of the etiquette rules within our establishment. Well, that sounds like a terrible violation. It sounds like I need to talk to someone above you. Who's in charge here? Right. Okay. Um, sir, we're going to have to ask you to come with us. I am actually going to ask you to come with me to the bar. Let's have a drink. Let's talk this out. Come on. You and me will figure out a solution. Makes everyone happy. All right. Listen, buddy. I don't want this to go the wrong way. You can either come with us or we can take you out by force. By force? Hey, listen, I'm here on an important mission. Win a crap load of money. And in order to do that, I need to stay here. So why don't you tell me the exact way this place operates and who's in charge? And then... What do you mean by how this place operates? Yeah. Like, who's making these violations that I'm apparently breaking? Sir, do you also notice, notice the sign when you walked in? What sign? Uh, the sign that says, no sunglasses. What? Oh, no. Oh, no problem. This is the second time today. The prescription. Sir, there could be cameras in those. We, uh, we're not going to allow you to wear those while you're I, in the roller area. I'm not a fan of Big Brother either, but... Mine told me I have to keep these. All right, sir. I've uh, had enough of this. You're going to come with us now? All right, fine. Let's yeah. go ahead and dex and athletics from you. Okay. Are you making him resist? No, he's going to try to grab him, so. Yeah, so are you implying he's going to resist? Are you going to resist? Yes, I'm going to resist. You said dex and athletics? Yes. Uh, five. Four. Fuxau! <clears throat> Blocked it. So, as he goes to uh, grab you, you manage to swat his hand away from you. Hey! Did you just assault me? No, I defended myself. And I need to warn you. I can't be controlled if I get, a, 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 my body just takes over. So. Yeah, I'm going to need backup over here. No. Hey. I don't need any more of you stormtroopers And we cut trying back. to harass we Memphis cut. Piper. We cut back to the <laughs> car and and 16 minutes. Uh, here we go. Looks like uh, we got a bunch of guards making their way to the high roller area where Memphis went into. Uh -huh. uh, they got, let's see here. Go to the camera in the high roller area. Memphis looks like he's getting surrounded. He's spinning around and yelling. That's, that's on brand. All right, well. Do you think they'll tase him? Can we watch? We really got to get moving. Oh, are you recording it? I'll record it. Okay. Guys, get out of the car. Mm -hmm. And after a short little trip in, 
make your way to the elevators. And as you do, you can see a bunch of suit and tied security guards making their way through the lobby, heading over to the high roll, roll, roller area, and you actually hear Memphis yelling, Four scores and seven years ago! On top of this bullshit! I'm glad he finally got to use that. He's been practicing that for a while. What does... Okay, never mind. We're gonna get this. <clears throat> Alright. As you get in the elevator and it closes. Uh, so, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your assistant Jackson and your assistant Greta, Greta are... Greta, yeah. We have just brought you in, flown you in from Miami. Yes. When do we go to the bathroom? There is no bathroom. We just... But you told him there's a bathroom scene. Isn't what happens that, in Is that where I get the gun? The gun. And you watch as Kaido pulls out a weapon. And you see as he puts it in the back of your wheelchair between the your back and the seat cushions. Okay. They're going to check us. They probably won't check your chair. What if they do? Then we go to plan B. Well, I imagine it'll be a metal detector, right? Like one of the wavy wand thingies they use? His chair Your chair's is metal. metal. But yeah, plan B, there's gotta be a plan B. What's the plan B? Plan B is that uh, we started killing them all. It's a little drastic. It is drastic, but... Um, like how many people we think are gonna be in there? Depends. I don't know. From the cameras, it looked like maybe 10. Okay. Elevator door opens, and as you get pushed out into the hallway, and you begin making your way, you can see some large double doors at the end of the hallway with some guards. And as you approach, those Kaido. You must be them. Uh, floor seven, this is where the medicine man is, right? They put their hand up. Just like Marilyn predicted, they bring out a wand. And you notice that Kaido takes a step off to the right, and they wand him. Then they make their way over towards you. Arms out, ma'am. Strange glasses you have. Why the strange? <clears throat> what are you and implying? You notice that they look over towards Irwin. And as they do your top, they go down towards your legs. They can hear the metal detector start to beep. Hmm. Guess this won't work. Sir, you don't mind? Oh. If I pat you down? Oh, sure, sure, sure. If they pat around your legs. Hey, 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 be careful patting his legs. They're very sensitive. Find what you're looking for. He's got a lot of nerve damage. Everything appears to be in order. They open the door. And as Kaido and Marilyn push into the room. You notice that you see a individual shaved head, dragon tattoo on top of his head. <clears throat> Looks at the group. So you're the doctor. That's me. Are you the medicine man? No, no, no. My name's Wong. But the medicine man is my associate. Uh. You could just consider myself a manager of sorts for them. Hmm. Miracle worker they are. I hear you're in need of a miracle. 
I am. I, yeah, obviously, you can see him. Kind of stuck to the chair. Three million dollars. Three million. To be able to walk again. Three million dollars. That's nothing if you can if it actually works. It does indeed. It happened before. Anything is possible with the secrets of Eastern medicine. Um, I'm intrigued. I've, I'm a, being a doctor, I well versed in some different uh, techniques, but I've never heard of someone being able to walk again. It's pretty impressive. Oh yes, regrow limbs, cure incurable diseases. Doctor, would you like me to transfer the funds? Is it? Yeah, uh, yes, please. Uh, Jackson, appreciate it. As Kaido goes to pull out, it's just my phone. He watches the guards get pretty angsty. Some type of uh, you know, just superstitious medicine? Exactly. You could say that. Hmm. And to verify the account is the same one that we spoke about? Well, I think we're putting the cart before the horse a little bit. We don't even know if this person is here. We haven't even seen them. Yeah, it's Wong. They will be revealed when the payment is made. Convenient. And a safety precaution. Someone like this is very valuable. I see. Um, yeah, okay. And uh, so when the payment goes through, they will be joining us? As soon as it goes through. Do I have your confirmation, Doctor? Uh, yes, you sure do. All right, the money has been sent. Perfect. It'll take a few minutes for the funds to be transferred. Enjoy yourself. Have a drink. I see motions towards the alcohol. Uh, no thanks. I'll pass. I'm more of a juice oh. person. I'll, I'll, I'll have a cup. <laughs> no, see, he makes his way over and pours some alcohol. My associates don't drink. They have to tend to me, obviously. I'll take a, I'll take a uh, Capri Sun. If you have a Capri Sun. Do we have any juice for the lady? Uh, he notice that one of the guards walks over. Got some apple juice in the fridge. Ugh. No. That's fine. I don't need anything. Brandy. Thank you. So, three million uh, is a... Is that... What most people get charged for, you know, these kind of operations. Depends on the... I'm gonna act like I'm drinking. I'm, it's going to touch my lips. Manipulation my, performance. Oh, motherfucker. It's fine. Just throw it up later. Manipulation and what? Performance. Alright. I got two, and I hope that's enough. <laughs> it is? Okay. Because it would have been a mess. He just spits out in his face. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the guards. 
Boss, there's a guy in the high roller area that's causing a uh, big ruscus wonks towards them. Go ahead. I'll wait for this. And he watches the guards all head out and leave. Having some issues? None of your concern, Doctor. <clears throat> Casinos brings all sorts of riffraff in. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, Doctor. That looks disgusting, by the way. It smells gross. I'm not even drinking that. It's an, it's an acquired taste. If you don't mind me asking, where did you make your fortune? On the road. Early in my career, I was a uh, traveling doctor. I see. As he looks at his phone. Looks like the transfer is complete. That's good. I will need to have your assistants wait outside. That's fine. Uh, Greta, Jackson, you guys wait here. Was the uh, operation going to happen while we're outside? Yes. Operation shouldn't take very long. No offense, I'm not very comfortable with leaving him here with complete strangers who are possibly doing a complete uh, scam of an operation. Oh. I do realize that it could seem as such, but I assure you I am a honest dealer. After all, I wouldn't have much of a operation if what I was selling was a facade. You well, right with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll be, I'll be fine. Yeah. I just need you to wait right outside the door. The doctor won't be leaving the room. Medicine man will be coming in. See you soon. Okay. Hmm. I'll head out the door. You watch as they walk out. And as you do, you notice that Kaido looks over towards you. Ghost funds are going to come back as a fraud. <laughs> why don't you, okay, why don't you tell us about that part of the plan? What, why don't we know about any of that shit? You can tell us about that. I also didn't know we were going to have to leave him alone in there. What the fuck is going on? Because I, I figured if Irwin... Why are you smiling? If <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. I thought you had all the plans. I thought you had all the big ideas. I'm just saying that if Erwin knew, he would have panicked. Irwin he did. probably would have liked to have known that, yeah. Erwin doesn't perform well under profession pre pressure. It, this is pressure enough in its own. I'm surprised he came up with that traveling fucking doctor shit. <laughs> I think he actually was a traveling doctor. <sighs> Meanwhile, back in the room, you notice that Wong stands up. You see him go over to this altar, begin lighting incense. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you feel the weight of the metal behind the pillow of your wheelchair. You know the gun is ready. Are you a religious man, doctor? Oh, I've spent my fair time in a church. How about spiritual? Um, well versed in... There are entities that exist within our universe, our world. Creatures of light and darkness. 
balance of yin and yang, the eternal struggle, good and evil, hot and cold, a duality of sorts. But there always lies a narrative gray line. Hmm. Notice that he grabs what appears to be a bowl of what looks like powder. And you watch as he heads over to this brazier that he has lit. And as he throws this powder, you watch as this plume and smoke begins to rise up out of it. What you're about to see may alarm you. And you watch as he turns and looks towards you. You see him begin to step back. And as he stands, starts to step back, you can, he can, still talking. But as he is talking, his voice begins to get quieter and quieter and quieter, almost like he's hundreds of feet away now, but he's still in the same room. Do I feel normal? Yes and no. Uh, the room's starting to feel dimensionally very weird. Oh, fuck. But you yourself feel fine. And as this feeling is starting to come over you, you realize that this, uh, room that you've been in which was like a like a hotel conference room nothing fancy or ornate really you look left and right and realize that the walls have now turned into these red rice papered screen walls and there are now lanterns hanging from the ceiling and slowly swinging back and forth you look like you have just stepped foot into the Ming dynasty it is very old and ancient in its appearance. And as you look around, you are now not in a square rectangular conference room, but this long hallway, and you can see what look like shadows of humanoid figures skulking about as they pass by this red paper screens and they move quickly and fast and the lanterns that have slight bells rattling and echoing through this hallway at the end where the smoke is the thickest you can see what looks like fire a small paper lantern swaying back and forth and something is approaching Meanwhile, Memphis. Yeah. Where we left off, I was making my way to the poker table to stand on to grab everyone's attention. <laughs> <laughs> to give my speech. Well, go ahead and start with the speech then. Four scores and seven years ago, this bullshit would never fly. And yet now, me, Memphis Piper, an elite in the community and the world, and just overall influencer, in being harassed. Sir, do we have permission? All right. Uh, you watch as he pulls out what appears to be a taser and <laughs> goes to tase you. So if you're going to try to dodge it, Dex and Athletics? I will try to dodge. I get a one. Wow, only a two. So, uh, the tasers hit you and you feel the jolt of the electricity shoot through your body. You go stiff and rigid just for a minute second, just from the electricity activating the muscles in your body, but it does no damage to you. And you completely regain control of your body, even with the voltage shooting through you. Uh, I pull out my phone. 
Huh. Full charge. What the hell is with this guy? And you watch, they're like, he must be jacked up on PCP or something. All the alphabets I'm jacked up on. <laughs> what do we do? Take me to your leader! <laughs> you watch as they look towards you and they're like, all right, guess we're going to do this the hard way. And you notice that four of them move in to attack you. Okay. All right, you're in combat now. You have uh, first on the initiative, though. So what do you Perfect. Do? Is there a chandelier? Yeah, there is, but it's about 30 feet off the ground. That's too high, even for PCP. <laughs> How about any high ground? I'm looking for higher ground. I heard Mephis could jump real high, though. He thinks he can. I heard he jumped to the moon once. <laughs> Give that chandelier. Um, like a slot machine or a cage or something I can hang, hang on to. No slot machines, but there is the top of the bar that you can jump on. Yeah, that. I will okay. jump onto that. All right. Switch over to some action music. How about that? Perfect. Is that also death and dex and athletics? Yes, it is. All right, four. Four? Yeah. Yeah, you jump right up onto the bar. No problem. You won't take me. Is this how you treat a guest who just wants to gamble and enjoy a succulent meal? I swear to God, if you say this is democracy manifest. Good <laughs> try, not my penis. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> I see you know your judo quite well. <laughs> I'm gonna make some rolls. All right, I'm gonna need some rolls from you. You got this. What are they doing? Three rolls. They're climbing up. They're climbing up? Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, drag you off. Oh, okay. I would like to. Three rolls of Dex and Athletics. To defend my high ground? To defend them from grabbing you and pulling you off. Yeah. Tell them it's over, Anakin. All right. Uh, three. Okay. Four. Okay. And three. Okay, yes, yeah, so you managed to successfully fend off all of them. As they're coming up, you're just kicking them off. They're falling back. One of them smashes through the bar. Another one, it's causing now, now a big disturbance. You see one of them go, yeah, this guy's on another level. We're going to need more people down here. I have demands! <laughs> people are now starting to get up from their poker tables and leave. I have demands that will be heard. One, I want a thousand credits. No, ten thousand credits for to for the inconvenience. Two, I want a verbal apology. I will accept handwritten. Three, I want my vodka tonic. All right, more of them show up. Three rolls from you. All right. I got a three. I got a three. Ooh. I got a one, and if that doesn't succeed, it's a fail. Okay. So you managed to fend off 
two of them as they come up there, but then a, another one seems to uh, jump up from behind and they just jab you up in the back and you get hit in the back with a pool cue. And as it hits you, you go stumbling forward. As you fall, you crash through the front of the bar and you are now surrounded by just security guards that grab down and grab onto you. Ugh, I've changed my mind. I will just leave. How about that? And they start dragging you. And as they're dragging you, you would expect them to be dragging you to the front of the building. Yeah. They're taking you further into the high roller. You're, wait! This isn't the way I came in! <laughs> One more Dex and Athletics for me now. See if the first 15 is going to be. One, two, six. <laughs> oh, damn it! Five. All right. As a feather stiff as a board. <laughs> as you're thrashing and struggling, you're being basically dragged and grabbed by about nine guards. And as they're pulling you in, like they're, you know, struggling with your vampiric might. But they eventually they pull you into a back room. And as they do, you notice there's this guy wearing a Hawaiian shirt and looks over towards you as he's smoking a cigarette. And the guards look towards him. Law! This is the guy. Ah, finally, the man in charge. I'd like to talk to you about your customer service That's policy. a fucking kindred. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Get him at the table. <laughs> and uh, you watch as they put you up and, you know, as Law looks towards you. You're here to fuck up Wong, aren't you? I don't know. Newsflash, you chose the wrong... Wrong room. Who is Wong? I'm here to spend money, but your thugs won't let me. And yes, I may have gotten slightly irritated, but this is no way to treat such a high celebrity as myself. But if you are willing to allow me to leave, I'll forgive all transgressions. What do you say? You know, I was a real big fan of your earlier stuff, you know? Especially Hopscotch Dino Disco. It was a good one. That? Oh, I almost didn't even release that track. To be serious. But I know you like gambling. Right, that's why I'm in a casino. Tell you what, I'm a gambling man too. All right, and I'll take you to Wong. Why? Why would you take me to Wong? I don't know what Wong. Just is Wong a dealer? I'll try to act like I'm an idiot here for a moment and not pretend like our faction isn't at war with you. Okay. I'm giving you a uh, opportunity to speak with Wong, who you uh, don't know, apparently, if you manage to win. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, but I want that shirt, too. My Hawaiian shirt? Yeah, I want that if I win, too, also. Sure, I'll give it to you. All right. What am I putting up? Your life. Normally, I would say no, but I really want that shirt. Good. And I love games. Do I have to be held down? You watch as he... <laughs> you uh, sit in the chair. Perfect. I get up, I sit in the chair. He sits in the chair across from you. All right, what's the game? You watch as he pulls out what looks like a revolver. Normally, these rounds wouldn't do too much to us. But an explosive incendiary round directly to the skull. Well, 
That'd be pretty bad. That, that it would, yeah, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> I just put it to that. Uh -huh. And he spins the chamber. Then he spins the gun. 50-50. Who does it land on? Heads or tails? Tails! What's that say? Yes! I win! <clears throat> tails. So it lands on you. Perfect. Guess so. it's your. Uh, you're up first. Perfect. Uh, so I just pointed at your jute? Point at yourself. What? Never played Russian roulette before? No. Canadian roulette, yeah, but. I don't see any maple syrup, so. Uh, Alright. I'll put it to my head. Uh, Are you sure you want to play that? Because I'm a very lucky fella, and I mean, you know what? I would be willing to put a pause on the game if, if you are, and I could just leave, and you can forget about your fractions and everything like that, because, you know, right? What do you say? Pull the trigger. Your funeral. I pull the trigger. Click. Oh, this is easy. Hold on. I'm going to do it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> again. Let's, let's see which one kills him. Oh, let's my God. Whoa now, Tiger. What? Grabs the gun from you. Guess I got to go twice now. I guess that's fair. Four. Click, click. Oh, there's only two rounds left. 50-50 now. All right. I guess I go twice now? <coughs> Once. No! <laughs> Once? Once. There's only two rounds left. And one of them's... Ex ex oh, God! This is... Okay. This is like the Monty Hall equation. What if it's a dud? Is that just a tie? Your turn. With the gun in my hand, though, I mean, like, I could shoot you twice. So that way it would go off. And I would win no matter what, right? And you gave me literally a loaded gun. You don't look like an idiot. That would be something I would do. So I think you're bluffing. I'm pulling it twice. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh my god. You pull it twice? Yeah. So Memphis is gone tonight. Click. Yeah. And as you go to roll the next one. You hear the gun fire. What? <laughs> I got played? <laughs> this is not a fair game. He tricked me. And as you pull the trigger, you feel that bullet blast through your head. Now, okay. he did trick you, though. It was not an explosive incendiary round. It was a normal round. So that's four points of superficial damage directly to your head. God damn it. <laughs> All right. And it's not halved. Uh. So as you pull the trigger, you got bang. <laughs> you just 
watch as part of your skull <laughs> blasts off another side. <laughs> through the mashed potatoes. <laughs> and you hit the ground. <laughs> wow. I can't believe he actually fucking did that. <laughs> and you watch as he looks towards the other one. I'll grab him before his brain starts putting itself back together. Hey, you still know English? Yeah, the refs in the Hebrew Nope. Okay. We make our way back over to upstairs. God damn it. I thought I fit, fooled you. I thought I had that one in the bag. When you play yourself. <laughs> you psych yourself and you shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> you see the lantern get closer and closer and as it does you start to see the silhouette of this massive seven foot tall shrouded Entity holding a lantern on the end of a stick. And as it moves back and forth, you watch as it makes its way about 10 feet in front of you. And you see its hands holding the stick are massive, long, bony, skin taut, wretched, rotting flesh. Its fingers unfurl. <clears throat> and as its long finger points towards you, you require and you watch as it extends its hand almost like it's trying to greet you. To be able to walk again. The medicine man? You watch as its hand brings back towards the lantern. You see it reach up into the underside. And you watch as it grabs this firefly floating around the inside. And it lets it go and you watch it. It flies over and lands onto you. Okay, what am I doing with this? Consume. I'll eat it? Um, first, a price. I've already paid three million. My price. And that. You have no soul, no life. It's because I have red hair. I've gotten this joke a lot. Hold dear. Um, friends, family. Why? Your payment will be service. Service. To whom? I've, I, I, I'm, I've serviced a lot of people, so this isn't my first rodeo. What's the catch? Who am I serving? Once a year on the summer solstice. What? And you watch as this hand begins to open up again. And you see what looks like a little tiny figurine. It looks like a lantern.
once a year on the summer solstice. Call upon me and feed my spirit. With what? Blood. That's it? Any blood? Blood of the living. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blood doctor. I can. That's not hard for me to do. Blood of the living. Right. Okay. That's all. That's all you want. How much, though? Enough to satiate. Okay, like, talk about one person worth the blood? A single life. Okay. Um, and it's no one I know? It could be anybody? Anyone. So, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Surprisingly reasonable. I, do, I, do I just need a... Suspiciously reasonable. Like, you know, we're good? Consume. All right. Was it, was it, it looks like a bug. It's just a firefly. Okay. The, do I get any whiffs of anything? Uh, it smells like a bug. Okay. I'm just making sure it's not like coated with something, you know. A fed lightning bug? A <laughs> lightning bug, dude. I don't want it. <laughs> Just get tired. <laughs> you got my three billion. All right. Hmm. And as you eat that firefly, you notice that your atmosphere begins to change. And as it does, you begin to realize you're back in the conference room. And you see Wong is standing with his back turned to you. What was in that incense? Back already. Yeah. Were you not expecting me? You're not a normal person, are you? As normal as any doctor, I guess. Can I, can I see my legs? Yeah, you have legs. Like, they, they work? Well, you didn't have legs. Oh! I, I, I was... Okay. Yeah, remember they were from the knee down? I thought, I thought they just didn't work. No. Okay, gotcha. Um, and can, like, they work? Yeah, work? they uh, work. Well, whatever you did, I had legs again. I stand up. That's amazing. I'm gonna reach for the gun. Uh, one second. Oh. What, you stood up? Oh. Oh, I thought he had his back towards me. He did, but he turned around. Um. Because you asked what was in that incense. As he turns around and you you stand up and you stretch, the gun no longer being pinned by your back <laughs> falls out of the side. Oh. <laughs> it's the click link oh. onto the ground. Fires. <laughs> I'd leap for it. <laughs> Use those legs. <laughs> All right, Dex and Athletics. To it, you spin and look, and you notice that Wong has already jumped across the room and has landed on the other side of the conference. Um, I'm gonna start just okay, shoot me, uh, decks and firearms. 
And Marilyn, you will hear the gunshots now coming from outside the room, and so will Kaido. I'm gonna try to go back in. Kaido enter back into the room. You watch as Erwin is firing the weapon across. And he just put multiple rounds into what looks like a large conference table. And you see that Wong is on the other side of it, hunkered down. But as you are firing, you see that Wong ends up taking his foot and he kicks the table towards your group. So I'll need a Dex and Athletics from all of you. No. Oh my goodness. I never, I never. Seven with a critical success. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. All right, roll for Kaido here. Whatever that late little lightning bug is gives me a little bit like extra luck. I see. All right, both uh, Erwin and Kaido jump and dodge out of the way, but Marilyn, the table comes flying right at you and makes direct contact. Mm. Six superficial damage. Mm. And that is halved. So you'd have six. I really need a new sheet. <laughs> My, mine's uh, starting to get some wear and tear from... Yeah, I mean, racing. Alistair's <laughs> sheet that I had before I stopped playing as a player was... I was literally... Put a holes through it? Putting holes through it, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, because you were a blood surgeon quite a bit. Yeah. I was the only one that would blood surge. I just, I can't risk it, man. You, you can. You really can. I can't. I'll go up in hunger. Once I go hey. above one, it's it's over for me. He tried gambling before that got him. That's true. That's true. <laughs> shot himself in the head. And I will say this. Yeah. In the community game, the person that does blood surge the most put themselves in torpor last week. So, <laughs> Whatever that was. All right, as you and Kaido jump to the side and Marilyn gets hit by the table, what do you want to do? Um, is he now unprotected? Yeah, he's stand, He's per, unprotected and he's walking now towards you guys. I'm going to keep shooting. Go ahead and roll decks and uh, firearms again. Four. Four. All right, Wong will activate a discipline. I think I have the, the Wong bolts for him. And as you fire your rounds, boom, 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 you watch as all four rounds you fire hit him directly, center body mass. And as they do, you see them and he just walks through them. Doesn't even even shrug back as they hit. And as he walks through them, you see him tear his shirt off and you see the bullets are stuck, embedded in his chest, but they look like uh, prismatic scales across the front portion of his chest. And you can see these uh, triad tattoos on his shoulders and his arms. Uh, Jackson, the gun you gave me does not work. That's because I gave you just a normal gun. And as he looks towards you guys, the door you entered gets bursted open. And as that door opens up, you can see a guy with a Hawaiian shirt holding Memphis by the collar. Hey now. And he puts the gun to the back of Memphis's head. 
I suggest you all play nice here, or I will finish what your friend did to himself. Is it visible still? Yeah, he's got a hole in his head. Did you shoot yourself in the fucking head? This guy has legs. What the fuck? Uh, he needs to see the medicine uh. man. Um, Wong looks towards you guys. On your knees. Don't worry, guys. I can take it. Kaido. Fuck. Kaido gets down on his knees. Uh oh, team's in a loopsie. <laughs> where is Law in comparison to where we are? So Wong's on one end of you guys, Law is on the other end, and in Law front of? behind you guys. The moment you like go to pull your webs, or you at least even turn your move your body, you see uh, Long go, ah! I didn't go do anything. I, well, I'm just saying if you even try to. I'm not trying anything. Long, on your knees. I can get on my knees, but I'm still holding the gun. Drop the gun! <laughs> well, it's pointless against you anyway. Hmm. You see Wong whistles, and some of the guards come in behind him. And as they do, they make their way behind Marilyn, Irwin, Kaido, and you in your lobotomized, self-lobotomized state. Uh, see them get shot with the crossbows in the back. <laughs> All three of you get put down into torp. And then you get torped as well. Oh. He, might, he was basically already torped. <laughs> he was basically halfway there. <laughs> he might as well have been torped already. <laughs> so much for a stupid plan. Yeah, you, know, you know whose fault this is? Yeah, 100%. The person that said that there was a plan mm, B. The one that was talking mm. all that good shit earlier. Mm. This is 100% Kaido's fault. <laughs> I don't think he's doing this on purpose. Only a terrible craftsman blames his tools. You have no idea how much time has passed. But as the darkness of Torpor took you, the sound of a vehicle rumbling in the distance, some sort of travel. And then eventually a drop off point. You can hear the voice of Law throw him in the room, seal him in. Hey, Wong's orders, right? Maybe he wants some sort of collateral, just in case. Just in case what? You're still currently in Torp when you hear this. Mm. But eventually, the voices disappear. And they removed the crossbow bolts from your hearts before they left. The four of you wake up. As you do, you look around your surroundings to see what looks like a factory of sorts. Old abandoned machinery seems to be scattered about. Mm. 
all of you are in the same room. And it is lit by a flickering fluorescent light swinging above head. Kaido. Oh. Mm. Is everyone here? Also, you, did you want to mend? Yeah, I'll mend. Go ahead and mend so you can talk again. I'm here. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, uh, anybody else have a headache? No. No one else shot themselves in the head in Memphis. I was tricked. How were you tricked? Russian roulette. That's not you. That's how was that a trick? Because I thought the gun was unloaded. Do you not know what Russian roulette is? You didn't. You didn't see him put the. No, I did, but I thought it was sleight of hand. Oh. Like David Blaine. Fuck are we? Where are we? Yeah, it's the great question, Marilyn. I think that's You the... know, I don't want you agreeing with me or anything. This is your fault. Yeah! You gave me a you faulty gun with pea shooter bullets. You didn't give me any money. How did he know you were gonna shoot him? I think what the main issue is is you got us dragged into something you didn't fully understand. Mister always has a plan. Okay. I will admit maybe there were uh I could And did we not just all get kidnapped? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Three! Listen. Uh, we just gotta figure out where we are. We can still we can still uh, make our way back, find Wong again. It's just uh, we gotta figure out where we are first and then... Hold on. I think the three-headed giant over here should figure it out. Why don't you just hang out in the back? We'll get us out of this situation. Okay. All right. Sure. Look. So. Holy shit, you have legs? You got legs? How? I had a lightning bug, and I have to feed something blood in every soap Oh, my God. That seems like a pretty good deal. That's a, Wait, yeah. there was an actual miracle worker there? I don't know what it was. Or he I thought that was all just a bullshit scam. And she granted you a wish? Um, yeah. Can you get her to come to me? I would, I, I mean. For I, what? You, do you have three million dollars? You don't have three million dollars either. That was bullshit. What? <laughs> I didn't actually send him three million dollars. You, you had four minutes in there before they I found out the funds. I back you were... up in this whole thing that you messed up. Because you bought, basically bought me my, my legs. But you sent me in there with fake money? But you came out with legs. This is true. That's another good deal. You're on fire. But it you know what? Like there were two prices to it's pay. A, it's a, you, it's a good thing. It's a good thing we were in a casino. Okay, hold on. Well, you said you said okay. So there was three million fake dollars and something about feeding something blood once a year. Yeah, which should be. What's that about? Easy. Uh, one like I asked uh, how much blood. To who? I don't. I didn't really see. Oh my. God. How are you supposed to beat them? They will probably come to me. I'm guessing. You're guessing. Uh, and then I, I was. They have the to, power to give. They have the power to take away. Sure. I just gotta make sure around the summer solstice, I have someone for them to drink or give blood. What is a summer solstice? Uh, I believe it's like a uh, constellation. It's, the first, it's thing. the first day of summer. It's the official first day of summer. And who knows when the next one of those will be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> next year. Usually, yeah. I think I think it was a good deal. Usually late late June. Because like we we drink like for it could have been a vampire or kindred. Yeah, I guess. All right, so brain trust. How do we get out of here? Um. Well, are there any windows? Give me wits and awareness for anyone who's examining their surroundings. Three. Did they did they go Three. through our pockets? Yeah, you have nothing on you. Uh, well, four. Did you? Three. 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 And four. All right. You take a look around the room. It's very reminiscent of like the f- first room in the Saw movie. Um, basically. That's great. 
basically, it uh, looks pretty shady. It's gross, it's clearly abandoned, uh, not being utilized by people. Um, most of the machinery in here is completely rusted, falling apart. There are no windows, and from what you can tell, it looks like it may have been an old slaughterhouse. Mirrors? You don't see any mirrors. You guys know what this might be? Um, you know, I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it since they pulled us out of Torfor to leave us in here. So, um, I think we should find a way out fast. You also notice there is a pair, a pair is, appears to be a old, like, 90s TV cart with a TV on it with a cassette tape player. Fucking God damn it. I think, I think this is a good old-fashioned escape room. Ooh! Drains! Really there are drains, yeah. There are drains? There drains How yeah. many drains? Uh, three of them. Three drains? Are they all on the floor? Yes, they're floor drains. There's drains. Mm, mm, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Can any of us change into animals? No. Well, uh, you would know that. <laughs> Man, this is, have any of us ever turned into animals? You said there's no mirrors in there? Well, I'm too far to call any of my chipmunks. Am I able to say ideas yet, or? Yeah. Let's vote on it. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? Should, should we take his input? I say we give him one chance. All right. We allow you to be on the council, but we do not recognize you as a Jedi. Okay, thanks, uh, Mace Windu. Um, here... That's racist. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I owed you one for the ninja thing the other night. All right, fair enough. And you notice that he pulls out a cassette tape that was in his jacket. I'm assuming this goes to the TV. Just play it. Yeah. Just fucking, just, let's just get this over with. Rip off the Band-Aid. You know, he puts it up. Wait a minute, that's not an idea. That's just something they put in your pocket. Yeah, but I mean, you guys were saying you didn't want any of my input. Oh my god, just just, just do it. Do the thing. Mm. Puts it in. Watch the static and the TV turn on. Hits play. We see Wong looking at the camera. Is this on? Okay. Red light means recording. Yeah, there's a red light. Wow, this is Alistair. How did we get caught by this guy? Boomer. Hello. Looks like you tried to take my life. Sorry. You failed. But all is fair in love and war, I hold it not against you. After all, you are only doing what your side requires. However, I decided to let my pet have a little fun. Pet? Mm -hmm. There's a nice little beastie somewhere within the facility, and she's hungry. I hope you don't mind. A little game of cat and mouse. Good luck. And the tape ends. Okay, well that sounds easy enough, yeah. It's just yeah. Like, like a tiger, maybe. Maybe it's a tiger guy. Or a shark. I don't think Memphis. How would it be a shark? Yeah, no. The... Unless it's on rollerblades. That's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard of. And as you're talking about this, you hear the sound of some sort of what you can only adequate to a lion's roar. Okay. That sounds big cat. like a big cat. Easy enough. If I get close enough, I could, I could, I could spit in his mouth. <laughs> and with that, we're going to end tonight's <laughs> session. <laughs> 
Thank you guys all for joining us for <laughs> That sounded three. as bad as you thought it did. <laughs> <laughs>